All right, boys and girls, we're back at it, and this time we'll be using the NVIDIA P600. This thing is supposedly designed for this type of labor of encoding and transcoding and all other sorts of decoding that you could imagine. So we're going to run with two graphs cards. Uh, hopefully this one will be doing all the encoding, and we'll see if that works out. This thing uses less than 40 watts, but up to 40 watts of total power, so it should be well within the range of uh, usability for the Dell R330. And uh, screw it, let's just go ahead and get started because I'm about ready to uh, see some real results with the hardware encoding at least. So just in case you guys haven't seen uh, a Quadro P600, uh, this is what it looks like, nothing fancy. It actually looks remarkably similar to the card that's already in there. So just for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, uh, this one appears to have a bigger fan and the uh, K420, you know, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, different architecture for both cards, obviously. And we have a uh, DisplayPort out, four DisplayPort out actually, because this Quadro P600 could supposedly support uh, a 4K monitor on each one of these ports at 60 hertz, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's not something we actually care about, but you know, just to give you some testament to the power of the, the chip that's on here uh, versus this. So this should do wonders for us. Uh, anyway, so let's kind of get this thing installed. Enough talking about it. Okay, so Dell really screwed us over here because even though this is a, a half-height uh, slot, they actually don't have the back PCI Express LAN open here, uh, so we're not able to actually insert this graphics card because obviously it's using the full full length of a 16 rail. Uh, but I did switch out the full length here, so we're going to try uh, with just the full length and see if we can figure it out. like. I think I'm going to have to do some more research offline um, to see if I can use hardware encoding or something because this is, there's just no way that I can't do either either or like and be stuck with both. So we're going to install this graphics card, run with this and see if this improves at all. Um, we know the CPU already is not going to get any better regardless of what graphics card we have. Um, so our whole objective is going to be to use this graphics card. So we're just going to have to figure it out and go on from there. So I don't want to bore you guys with more installation stuff, so uh, we're just going to skip ahead to the next parts. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the server itself. So we're just going to look at Task Manager really quickly. Click on the Performance tab. Uh, you can see that we're currently using about 30% of our GPU utilization and 16% CPU, uh, upwards of 18 or 19%. And that's while streaming the desktop. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over. Actually, I'm sorry. Before we switch over, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at our settings real quick. So I can show you that our output is in fact uh, at a bit rate of 6500 uh, bits or whatever. We're using GPU encoding of course. Our canvas is set to 1920 by 1080, although our output is 3440. That's scaled down to 1920. So our server is receiving that scaled down 1920 by 1080 image. So everything's going to be a little bit squished. Um, what else? I think that's it actually. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel this. Now we're gonna go ahead and change scenes. Uh, so we'll be playing a little bit of Apex Legends for this. Hopefully it works this time. And we will, I don't know, I guess, see how this uh, 1920 by 1080 works out. Let's move this camera, there we go. All right, here we go, about to drop in. We're five seconds from dropping. Hopefully our teammates can hold us up. Or hold me up, I should say, not us, but hold me up. All right, we're going in to whatever this place is called. And we're away. So far, so good. I landed where I wanted to. No gun yet. There we go. G7, I'll take it. Phoenix kit. Really hope we get to fight somebody, because this is going to be pretty boring if we don't get to see anything. Alright, here we go. Time for some action. Hopefully. Alright, well, I officially suck, so... 
Hopefully that turned out good. All right, so this time we're gonna try again, but we're gonna try downscaling to 720p and see if that improves anything at all. Uh, I seriously doubt it, but it won't hurt to try. So we're just gonna ready up. Uh, hopefully uh, we can get in the game fairly quickly. And I'm just gonna probably spin the camera around and do a bunch of craziness. Uh, I doubt we're gonna play uh, for serious. I really wish I could get that chroma cam thing to go away because it's pretty annoying. So we're coming up on 20 minutes. I'm just taking my whole crew straight with me and uh, might make them mad, but oh well, I need some action because I can't be waiting 20 minutes just to film like a two second bit and record possibly what the uh, frame rate is. And of course we are the only ones to land here uh, so there's not going to be any action. So I guess I'll just whip the camera around and we'll kind of just get a sense of things as they are to come. I, I really don't know what to do anymore. It's funny because when you go looking for a fight you don't get one. But when you are not looking for a fight, you get all of the fights. All right, well, I think that's all she wrote. Uh, there, I'm not gonna get any action, and uh, we're already going on 30 minutes of recording with literally nothing, so uh, hopefully what we got is good enough, and uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see what happens. All right, so I think we finally got some successful results from our remote server with the graphics card, the P600 that's in there. That seemed to do really well. 720p looked, in my opinion, the best. Uh, there was a lot less pixelation and distortion. The 1080p one had a little bit more distortion or pixelation. I'm not really sure what the right words are, but let me know what you guys think and which one worked better. So this is something that's totally possible to do with a remote server. And I'd probably test this again, uh, maybe like in a vlog style video in the future with a laptop on Wi-Fi or something. Uh, but that remains to be seen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this three part series or videos, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun kind of playing around with that. I really wish the server was in the same room because it would be really cool um, to have a, a stream going over the network here. But anyway, that's, that's the point. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you all next time.